The amount of time that people spend sitting throughout their day has been increasing for decades and has only gotten worse since the start of the pandemic. For many of us, leaving the house and going to work was a means to get physical activity. And now so many of us who are now working in hybrid conditions, remote conditions, don't leave the house. And so that opportunity to get more physical activity is gone. And so we're sitting even more now as a result of this new lifestyle we're living because of the pandemic. Sitting is bad for you because it increases your risk for many chronic diseases. So if you're a person who sits for most of your day, your rates of developing things like diabetes, high blood pressure, dementia, and many types of cancer are much higher than somebody who doesn't sit for most of their day. In addition, you have a much higher risk of early death than a person who moves throughout their day. Our bodies were made to move. When our bodies are not moving, the muscles are a really important regulator of our blood sugar levels, our blood pressure, our lipid levels, or the fat in our bloodstream. When your muscles are not moving, they're not doing their jobs the right way. And so you need regular contraction and activation of your muscles. When you sit all day, your body's not regulating the system that's supposed to in the right way. The best way to combat the harmful health effects of sitting is to take regular movement breaks, or we'll call them exercise snacks. That your body just needs regular breaks from sitting to activate the muscles and just for you to get moving again. And it is simple as taking a five minute walking break every half hour or every hour. Taking a five minute walking break every half hour we found in our research reduces the blood sugar spike after eating by almost 60%. We also found that taking a five minute walking break every 30 minutes reduces blood pressure by four to five points. And for those of you who are saying that taking a half hour walking break is not realistic or not possible in your workplace, the good news is that we found that even less frequent breaks taking a movement break every hour still was able to offset some of the health harms of sitting. In fact, a one minute walk every hour still reduced blood pressure by four to five points. Um, so I think that's good news is that it, yes, take a movement break every half hour will offset most of your risks, but even less frequent movement breaks can still offset some of your risks. So move as often as you can if you're a person who has to sit a lot for their jobs. What constitutes a light walk for our study was two miles per hour, which means walking one mile in 30 minutes. This is actually a really light walk. Most people would find it uncomfortable to walk this slowly, and it's slower than most people's typical walking pace. So this is, I think, this is really important and good news for a lot of people that this is not you having to sprint up and down a hall at your workplace. This is a casual walk, a nice, slow, leisure walk. That's all that you need to offset the harms of sitting. We've seen this trend in recent years of standing desks being sold and marketed to workplaces and employees. Unfortunately, the scientific evidence for standing desks is mixed. There's some evidence to suggest that it may be beneficial, but there's other evidence to suggest that standing, particularly for long periods of time, could actually be harmful for your health. And so the message that I give to anybody asks me, what should I do about my sitting at work, is to move. We know without a doubt that movement and physical activity provides health benefits. We still are unsure if standing is any more helpful than sitting. Exercise is not enough to offset the harmful effects of sitting because it only accounts for maybe 2% of your debt. And so, even if you're a person who does that 30 minutes of exercise, you still have another 15 and a half, 16 hours of your waking day where you're not moving and you're sitting. And so it's naive of us to think that just 2% of your day can offset another 98% of the day not moving. And so the message here is that if you're someone who exercises, that's great, keep doing it. Because exercise is one of the most important health behaviors that you do, but we don't want you just to check off that box and think you don't have to move the rest of your day. Your body and your muscles just need regular stimulation, regular activation to have optimal health. And so that's the key here is this is something you should be doing in addition to your exercise.
In addition to physical health benefits, there's also mental health benefits to taking regular movement breaks or exercise snacks. We found in our research that individuals who take regular exercise snacks or movement breaks have lower fatigue, they're in a better mood, and they feel more energized compared to sitting throughout the day. For a lot of people, the physical health benefits that you reap from taking regular movement breaks are not motivating to them because it's not something you see beneficially for 30 or 40 years because you're trying to prevent something like heart disease that takes time to develop. And so this is really helpful to know that you can reap immediate benefits from taking regular movement breaks, that you're gonna be in a better mood, you're gonna feel more energized, you're gonna feel less fatigued. And if you're worried about your work performance, this is beneficial to your work performance and just beneficial to your everyday life. And so we think the immediate health benefits of movement breaks is, is really important and something that we shouldn't dismiss as well.